we will we can see the bus A, B, and G. And for uh, PMU on F, we can see the E and F and G. But D it is uh, D is not absorbed yet. So it's not a completely absorbed system. A completely absorbed system means it should be all of the buses should be absorbable. So here the D it's the D is unabsorbed. Branch and mod bond method, it is uh, based on algorithm, uh, uh, binary al algorithm, and it is, uh, we have one XI for that. It will be zero and one. If the PMU is installed at the bus, it will be one, and if it is not installed, it means it will be zero. We have some simulation results in next slide. For IEEE, means uh, 14 bus, 13 bus, uh, 30 bus and 3957 buses for IEEE paper. So it means uh, by position zero injection bus, we can uh, put a PMU on bus uh, seven. And uh, for other, you can see in this table. In the next slide, we have done for, uh, we have simulated and we have uh, done one table for Khuzestan variance for 230 kilovolts and uh, 400 kilowatt in Khuzestan. This is a 230 and 400 kilowatt network in Khuzestan Perbians by simulation in MATLAB. And in the conclusion, we can say in this paper, the optimal position of phaser measuring units for condition with minimum application for monitoring of the complete network was studied. The PMU positioning result using the integer linear programming on the sample IEEE and uh, a comparison with other methods was presented. I was shown that this method gives very accurate result for different network and also it is a simple one. Thank you. Hello everybody. Uh, my name is Hamid Reza Barzegar. I'm from GNTU SIT department. Uh, my paper is about wireless internet networking impacts on rural development. In this presentation, I will be present about this topic, uh, abstract introduction, service with mobile phones, apps for developing rural area, conclusion, advantages, and some example. Uh, in abstract, uh, I want to say about uh, fundamental development on rural area are so considerable because these regions are both the core of nutrition source and the center of economical import, uh, improvement of each country. As you know, uh, in the farmer country, uh, the farm is important for uh, developing that area. When you could uh, shift uh, some new technological uh, process like uh, internet and network to the, this uh, area, you can uh, bring the uh, new technological and the new process to that area. It's happened to our world with uh, WiMAX and UMTS internet. In the information area, mobile devices do a lot of actions such as surfing on the internet, watching the online video, and buying something from online shop, and so on. For this purpose, we need to add a smartphone with a smart operating system. Then, in this century, a lot of mobile phone operating systems like Android OS, Apple iOS, and Windows OS from Microsoft and are introduced. With uh, the smartphone you have it, you can in, uh, use this uh, application. The, the three main uh, OS in this world is uh, Apple, uh, iOS, Android, and Windows platform. The services with mobile phone introduced my, in my paper, it's related to the connectivity, web browsing, video calling, multitasking, voice-based features for the, our cell phone. For connectivity, 
it's a GPRS and GSM and UMTS is a generation of the uh, <coughs> mobile cell phone for the using the internet. Web browsing is the same this one. You use your Internet Explorer for a cell phone, especially is a Opera. And video calling, you use this service like Skype and OVO. Multitasking, you can use some program together in one OS. Voice is a very similar. All of you use this one. Here, in my paper, I uh, introduced uh, four applications for developing on rural area. Like uh, application, it's a program for agriculture, tourism, health, and education. With the application for the health, you can, uh, instead of move the uh, doctor and physician to the uh, rural area, you can use your phone I will explain in my example. You can use the phone and you, uh, the, the person in the village can see the doctor in the big city. In conclusion, uh, has described fundamental concept of mobile service which are necessary to understanding the final goal. In order to use this service, we should have a wireless internet networking. The base of the, my paper is the internet networking. This model of internet networking for rural area is low cost. As you know, in the village, the cost for the people is very important. Uh, the low cost is like GSM and WiMAX. The advantage of, of uh, my research is the last research on undevelopment area such as uh, some part of Africa, like Uganda, that has shown when people use this model of technology for their life, they had a better life with a low cost or easy to achieve that special service. Here is a, uh, five con uh, consumer mobile application for 2012. Memory transfer, mobile browsing, mobile health monitoring, NFC, and mobile advertising. In this uh, example is a one atlas of anatomy. This is an application for education. This one, you can track all the uh, sports uh, activity of yourself and send this one to your physician. This one is related. Please to conclude. Conclude, please. We have two minutes more. Two minutes. Two minutes, okay. And the other application is related for the diabetes people. And finally, that one with this application, uh, when you put, uh, put your, uh, uh, your finger to the backside uh, camera, this uh, application could understand about your blood pressure. Thank you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Before the presentation, I want to uh, say to my wife, Mrs. Farisa Bahraminiku, and thank you so much for helping me for do this research. My presentation is related to review on use of the reinforcement learning in artificial intelligence and is divided into four parts. First, artificial intelligence. Second part is reinforcement learning. Third part is artificial neural network. And the final part is conclusion. Artificial intelligence. What is artificial intelligence and what is the goal of the artificial intelligence? Artificial intelligence is a branch of the computer science. And the goal of the artificial intelligence is to make the machine 
that uh, has a capable to perform the action in a way that's better than the human action. And the other aim of the artificial intelligence is to understand the action that do with the humans. And what is the reinforcement learning? Why we need, we need to use the reinforcement learning in artificial intelligence? If we want some uh, action, do some do and, uh, some, uh, uh, and perform some action, we need to tell the action how can learn and do those actions that we need uh, for uh, perform the job. For understanding the reinforcement learning, first, we should understand the concept of the agent, environment, reward, punishment, and also limitation of the reinforcement learning. What is the agent? Agent is la uh, learner and decision maker. Agent is learner and decision maker. Environment is all things that are outside of the agent and agent action and do perform in the environment. What is the reward and punishment? When the agent do some action in environment, environment give a feedback to the agent. This feedback is maybe be reward or punishment. What is the limitation of the reinforcement learning? The limitation of the reinforcement learning is that has a, that need to a lot of capacity for a store the state in environment. For example, you suppose that we have a, one agent that's one, uh, that is in the step T. In step T, the agent can take a more than one state of environment. That's called ST. ST is a subset of S, where S is a total state in environment. Depend on ST, Agent can select and uh, do some things, some action. This action, these actions are AT. AT is a subset of A, and the A is total action that are in the environment. After selecting the action with agent, in the next step, T plus one, environment give the reward or punishment depend on the previous action of the agent to agent. And the goal of the reinforcement learning is to mark, take a maximum reward from environment. And by repeating of this process, agent can learn how can do some action that are correct and how can do some action that are not correct. Artificial neural network. For understanding the co uh, concept of the artificial neural network, first we should uh, have some background of the biological, artificial, uh, biological neural network. In biological neural network, there is a one structure that's called neurons. Each neuron consists of body of cell and the axon that can send the signal, which split into the thousand and thousand branch, and also dendrites that use for take a result. At the end of the each axon, there is one structure that's called synapse. The, the responsibility of synapse is to convert the activity from axon into the electrical activity and send this electrical activity to other dendrites. The same thing will be happen in artificial neural network. But at the moment, we cannot make intelligence brain. Two minutes more. Okay. Intelligence brain and also just we can do simple neural network. Neural network include three parts, input units, hidden units, and the output units. Input units store the value, hidden unit convert the value into the numeric vector, and the output units 
can uh, convert the value of hiding units into the prediction. Our conclusion of the, this research is artificial intelligence focus on providing a better life for human. For this reason, we need to learn the action that do the best perform in the environment. And for this reason, we need to use the some methods. These methods is reinforcement learning and machine learning. Uh, reinforcement learning, that is the type of the machine learning. Reinforcement learning is a discipline which attempts to improve on the machine's performance of a task. We've given the example. Thank you. For example, they give you some reward, they give you some money, they, or some, uh, some, uh, some web, website that uh, um, attract the use for the, uh, some, uh, something they are interest, interested. And when you open it, uh, after that you will see an, a, a, a website. It's not that your, your website. It just uh, catch your, uh, catch your uh, username and password and use it later and can get uh, your uh, uh, information. Next slide, please. Uh, just in the short, I tell you about the access control. We have different kind of access control, uh, and uh, like a mandatory access control, this, uh, discretionary access control, and role-based access control that is very useful in the military uh, systems. That you are separating your, uh, uh, you are separating uh, your um, the, your privacy. Uh, uh, for example, the administrator separated to different uh, level as they need it. For example, uh, the high level management uh, ha have a more accessibility to, uh, uh, to the um, databases. And when you come uh, law in about the hierarchy uh, of, uh, of the important uh, rule, they need it less and you can uh, get it, uh, you can get it, but uh, that ranking. Uh, would you please go to that conclusion, the last one, previous one. Uh, this paper uh, has discussed different, uh, different development that can be found in an information security environment. Network security is all about studying cyber attacks with a view to defending against them. Understanding uh, what makes systems vulnerable to these attacks is an important first step in avoiding uh, or preventing them. Most hackers were, uh, were young adults, often teens who had dropped out of schools but were otherwise intelligent and focused. Thank you very much, all you, to uh, listen to my presentation.